Hello, my name is Fiona Walsh, and today we're going to have a look at the morph transition in PowerPoint. I'm going to share my screen. OK, so I have a series of shapes that I've created on this slide. The way the morph transition works is that we need to duplicate the slide. I'm going to click over to the edge here and Control D will duplicate that slide. So now on this slide, I'm going to move these around a little bit. And that'll work like that. And then I'm going to duplicate again. So Control D and I'm going to swap these two over and see how that works. Let's see if I can uh, pop these shapes back together. There we go. That one's not, it's not fitting 100% there. Oops. Okay. Hmm. Just try and nudge that in there. There we go. Perfect. So now I need to uh, click on the transition tab and make sure that I have the morph transition highlighted. I'll do that for the other two slides as well. Okay. When we have the morph transition selected, over to the right hand side here, we have effect options. And when I click on that, we have a few different options here. So we have objects, words, or characters. So for this one in particular, we have objects, because it's objects that are going to move. If we use words, we can have two different paragraphs. And where we go from one paragraph to another, it will change the uh, text in a text box. And the same with characters. Now, another thing that we can do with Morph is we can maybe make one object bigger or we can make objects smaller. Uh, all sorts of different things. We can change the color, lots of different things we can do. And actually, I think what I might do with this one as well is I might make this a little smaller. So what we'll do is we will um, make these, uh, we'll just drag these into be a bit smaller and then maybe I'll rearrange because they're kind of nearly off the edge of the screen there. So we'll do it like this and then we'll see how that looks like at the end. Just nudge that one in there. I'm just going to nudge that down a bit. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to play. Okay, so this is the first slide. And then when we go to the next slide, you'll see they nicely come apart and ready for the next slide. They're going to reform and they're going slightly smaller as well. So that's really the key to morph. It is duplicating the slide and changing the content on the slide when we use that morph transition. So I hope you found that useful. If you're watching on LinkedIn, please do connect with me. And if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.